today we're going to have a go at making our own musical instruments. Music really helps with our well-being, whether it be listening to music or creating music. It can really help us to feel sort of a sense of joy or help us to express our emotions. So instruments are categorised into different families. You have different families of instruments. These are strings, brass, woodwinds and percussion. Percussion instruments are instruments that can be shaken, hit or scraped. And today we're going to have a go at making one that does all three. Okay, so this instrument can be shaken, scraped, or hit. Okay, and all you need to make this is an empty clean tin, a balloon, maybe an elastic band to secure the balloon if you need to, and something to put in to shake. So this can be beads, buttons, rice, pasta, any small hard object that you're allowed to use. If you would like to, you can start by decorating your tin. I'm going to have a go using a sponge and just some normal ready mix paint. And I'm going to dab on so my final instruments were nice bright red colour. Okay, you need to leave this to dry fully before you continue making your instrument. Okay, when your tins are dry you need to put anything in them that can make a rattling sound. So you might want to use a little bit of pasta, you might want to use some rice, um, you might have some beads or buttons at home. Um, I've got some buttons here that I could use. Okay, so anything really that makes a rattling sound, you can put in your tin. For mine, I'm going to use rice. If you want your tins to sound different, you could put rice in one and something else in the other, maybe. And I'm just going to put a little sprinkling of rice in the bottom. You can experiment with this if you would like more rice. You can choose to. Next you need to cut the end off your balloon and then stretch the balloon over the tin. Okay, you need to pull the balloon as tightly as you can. The tighter the balloon, the more effective the sound. Um, you may um, need to use an elastic band just to tighten it a little bit more. Okay, there we go, do the same with the other one. If you do have two tins, it's great to make a pair of these. Stretch it over. Oh, the elastic band round just to secure it. Okay, so here we have my mini bongo shakers. We can hit them with our hands, our fingers, or oh, I've got a chopstick here you can use. Scraping them and shaking them. Okay, so really using your instruments you can just have an experiment with the different sounds you can make with them. Um, or you can have a go at playing along to your favourite song if you would like to. You can also do a call and response if somebody else in your family is playing with you. So one of you can create a rhythm and the other one copies it. And you can make it as tricky as you want. Maybe you want to use a variety um, of sounds for your rhythms. You might do a... So a call and response game is a really nice way of using your musical instruments. Have fun.